Hi wonderful people, how are you doing today? I hope you are holding on and I dare say it's been a long while but pardon me, gradually I will come to the space once again fully okay so for today's tutorial we're going to be making a very quick one join me as i make this booboo -boo dress using this mikado fabric i have here four yards of this fabric we're going to be using it for today's tutorial and the length of my dress is 62 inches so at the end of the tutorial i'm going to be showing you what is left of this material okay so that you will use it to consider how many yards you will be needing if you want to make for yourself all right so of course what we need is just the material the elastic is for the sleeve and of course your tape and your matching thread okay to my existing subscribers thank you so much for hanging in there for me and for your patience and if you are new on this channel please feel free to subscribe also like comment and share our videos okay i appreciate all of you thank you for your time on my channel thank you for stopping by if you are new so quickly let's get started we're going to be doing the cutting on the floor because of the length of the dress okay so let's go there okay my people so here i already made some markings you have here shoulder to bust shoulder to waist shoulder to hip okay and then the last one is the actual length of the fabric i added two and a half inches for fold i hope you see it i folded the fabric into four by the way one two three and then four okay so now the first thing we're going to be doing will be to measure out the accurate body measurements starting from the shoulder. So the shoulder is 8.5. The bust is 10.75. I divided it into 4 anyway to get this. I divided the bust measurement into 4 to get what I'm marking. The waist is 9.75. The hip is 12 inches. Okay. Now to each of these body measurements, the boys, the waist, the hip, I'm going to add 4 inches extra. So 4 inches to the bust. 4 inches to the waist. 4 inches to the I will connect first. I'll measure what I have at the hip. I have 16 inches, so I'll measure it at the hemline. line and the hip line is going to be the same but if you want this place to be a little bit wider you can add few more inches to it okay let me add um, two inches to it okay so I'll now use my ruler to connect the hip to the hem line now the hem line is now a little bit wider than the hip by two inches. Okay. All right. What is left now is to measure out the sleeve. Okay, so now having measured the shoulder, I'm going to, you know, this is together with the sleeve. So I'm going to add the measurement for the sleeve. For that, I'm using 20 inches. So all together, I have 
28 and half inches. Now for the opening of the sleeve, I'm going to be using this elastic for the sleeve anyway. So this 20 and a half inches includes um, allowance for the elastic where the elastic will pass. Okay, now for the round sleeve, I'll use 14 and a half inches. Okay, so from here to here, 14 and a half inches. I did not put any shoulder sleeve. I'm not going to be cutting this place, it's going to be like this. Okay, now the next thing I will be, do now will be to connect. This is 14 and a half inches here. Yes, you want more? Excuse me, please. Sorry about that, please. The next thing I'm going to do will be to connect. This 14 and a half inches here. Sorry, I didn't know you were not seeing me. This 14 and a half inches here, I will connect it. I'll find a way to connect it. Say, like, um, you know, this is the shoulder to hip here. Okay. Say, like, two to three inches below, above the shoulder to hip measurement you get that right two to three inches above the shoulder to hip measurement so here we go now at this first point i'm going to make sure it is straight because i'm adding my elastic and the elastic is one inch okay the elastic is one inch okay so i'll make sure i have about two and a half inches here for the fold. So between here and these two and a half inches has to be straight. That is for the fold this way. Okay. Hope you see it. Mine is already straight. I hope you can see it. Okay. Then from here now I will curve to meet this three inches above the hip line. So here we go. to cut the neck. For the neck width, I will use 3 inches. My sewing allowance is normally half inch for this. So at the end of the day, the neck width, the neck, uh, width yeah, will be 3 and half inches because I will use half an inch to sew it. Okay. Then for the neck depth, for the front, I will use five inches and for the back I'll use one and a half inches okay you can adjust this like when I'm done cutting I will check if it's too okay let me make it six inches sorry please I think this five is too short six inches then for the back, all right. So having done this now, I'll go ahead and cut. Starting from here. Like this, up, and then 
this way and end it. And then for the neck, I'm cutting the back first. So when I open it up, I'll cut the front. So I'll just take my time and cut it. Okay? Let me just do it because some people will say I did not show when I was cutting. I'll now remove this part. All right. Okay, so we are now off the floor. I'll just open it up and the front neck. So next will be to cut the facing. So I brought a fresh fabric as the pieces I cut from the side. Just want to get the center. All right. So now place this one. It all depends on how many inches you want to use as the facing. Okay. Okay, so it wasn't working. I had to use pin to hold it down. Flip it over to the other side to mark the length of the facing. Okay. I'll use two and half, so I'll mark two and half all the way around. For this V side, I used three by the way. This V side, sorry, 
for this V side I used three and I continued with my two and a half So this is for the facing you may want to use it this way or you would like to double it for me i will double it so i'm going to cut another one of this all right so here we go So I'm going to go to the machine and sew it like this. So I'm going to go to the machine, sew this round part first of all. Okay, you see this dress does not have zip, so you have to make sure that the opening you gave here is enough for your head to pass through. Okay. So I will sew this one first and then we continue. Okay, so here we go. this part then I'll give it a good press right, so here we have it next thing will be to now attach it to the neck of course we are considering the area the side we marked as the wrong side you know for this Mikado fabric there's no front there's no back okay so the side that my marking is showing I'm using it as the back as the wrong side okay so now I'm going to place my this facing for the neck at the right side my dad. yes my baby okay. and then i'll pin it carefully now i'm going to sew having pinned it down i'll sew it round When I'm done, I will not cheat. Okay, so now 
I've stitched it, I've also notched. So I'm going to turn, remove the pins. And then turn it over and top stitch or under stitch, whichever one you call it, to hold it firm. Okay. So now I'm going to turn. Sorry, I did not capture this place well. Yes. I didn't stitch this place well, so let me just do it. So I'm going to top stitch or under stitch. I hope you can see it. The weather is somehow. I hold it this way. Hope you see it. And then sew on the facing, not on the main fabric. So now we are done with our facing, as you can see. All I'll need to do is to just give it a good press and then put my hem gone. Okay. Next thing I'll do will be to fold the armhole. Okay. I added. Two and a half inches for the elastic band. So I'm going to now fold it using that two and a half inches. Okay. Okay, so now having done this, you see I folded it. Sorry, the weather is a little bit okay. So now having folded it, the next thing thing will be to now put the elastic so for this and for the comfort of the person that wear it I made sure the elastic is up to half of this armhole okay I hope you see it okay so I'm going to pass one to each side then remember when we were uh, cutting the fabric we I added four inches extra aside the normal body measurement so to that four inches extra i'm going to be taking one one inch as sewing allowance i hope you get that so when i'm closing it i'll close by one inch from here down to the hemline okay and then i'll fold it and that'll be all okay so you see i've closed it at the two sides okay so, under that armhole, you see this place that has cover, I'll just notch it, just small, slightly, like this, and do the same at the other side, like this, alright, so all that is left is to give it a good press and then attach the buttons. So I'll go to the table now and mark where the button is supposed to be. Okay, so I carefully measured and marked out the point where I'm going to be putting the button. I have one here immediately after the V. This is the second one. That is 18 and a half inches from the first one. The third one, 18 and a half inches as well from the second one. And then the fourth one, the same measurement. Okay. So I'll go ahead and attach the buttons, and that will be all. Hey, my people, this is what we have at the end of the tutorial. I promised I was going to show you what we have left. We have about half yard of this fabric left out of the four yards I said I was going to be using. Okay, it's up to you to calculate and decide how many years you'll be needing for yourself. Okay, thank you once again for subscribing and for stopping by. I wish to be here more often than um, I've been. Alright, see you next time in my tutorial. Bye-bye.